Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we'll be working on today. Let's get started. The first color I'm going to be using is this light blue one by Alley Colors and it's called Blue Treasure. I'm going to be applying this one over my entire nail. Now using this blue nail polish by Milani called Blue for My Baby, I'm going to be applying a side swipe. I'm going to be using this white nail polish by Santi, and I'm going to be applying it to my makeup sponge. I'll be randomly sponging my entire nail. Now I'll be applying this NYX glitter polish called Aqua Glitter over my entire nail. Now I'm going to be using these blue and white paints to create my butterflies. These are by Faber-Castell. This is the brush brand and size I'm going to be using, and it's just a flat end tip brush. I'm going to be dipping half of my brush in the blue and the other half in the white. I just want to blend the colors in smoothly together. This assures my brush will be fully loaded. I'm going to start with the lower wing of my butterfly. I'm just swerving my brush up and down, creating that first butterfly wing. Now I'm going to begin working on my top wing. I'm just overlapping the bottom one a little bit, and I'm just swerving my brush up and down going sideways. This is the brush brand and size I'm going to be using now to create the little butterfly's body and outline the wings. I'm going to start with the little body and I'm just going to give it a little rounded tip for the head. And on the bottom part I'm just going to give it a little tip. Now I'm going to go in and paint the little antennas. Now it's time to begin outlining the butterfly wings. I'm going to show you very quickly how I worked on the flowers on the rest of my nail design. I'm doing the same thing, just blending in my colors, making sure my brush is fully loaded. I'm going to start by creating the flower. I'm just swerving my brush up and down. And at the end, this is actually going to look like a letter V. Now I'm going to be painting the second flower. It's up to you to decide exactly where you're going to want your flowers, but this is in exactly the same shape, a V shape. Now using the same brush brand and size I used to outline the butterfly's body, I'm going to go in and I'm going to be creating the stem for my flowers. Dipping in the green, and I'm going to be creating a letter V, and then a couple of little stripes in the center, and then a long stem. I'm going to do the same exact thing to the second flower the V at the bottom, a couple of stripes, and a long little stem connecting to the original one. Now back to our original butterfly nail. I'm creating a five petal flower and I chose the color white just because I wanted my flower to look very faint. Under my butterfly, I'm going to be creating a half three petal flower in the color white as well. Now I'm applying top coats so that I can place a 1mm size rhinestone in the color green on my top flower. And on my lower flower, I'm going to be placing a 2mm size green colored rhinestone. And that's it. Apply your top coat and your design is complete. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try out this nail art design using your favorite colors. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye! If you'd like your butterfly to be a little more detailed, just go over your outline a little bit thicker in the color black. Then apply a couple of white dots or the color of your choice dots. And to finish it off, a couple of stripes in the center of your butterfly's wings.